Well, it's December 9th, and I'm trying to chronicle all of the bucks that we've had here since December 1st. Uh, we had about seven bucks, different bucks, come throughout the, er, the fall. But since December 1st, we've only had three bucks show up underneath our game camera. One of the three is this little spike horn buck. Uh, he came on December 1st. This series of videos that uh, I'm putting on right here is um, clips from December 1st through uh, last night, December 9th. Uh, this little buck has been in the yard a couple of times, but most of these videos are from the 1st of December. He showed up right after the snowfall, and he uh, hung around the yard for quite a, quite a while, ate a bunch of apples. As you can see, we had snow in early December, and there was still snow on the ground when he was here. Good, healthy little deer. Um, I've not seen him with any other deer. He always comes up by himself. He's never around any of the does. He's not with any of the other bucks. Uh, pretty much by himself. I'm assuming the other bucks pick on a little guy like this. But he goes to both cameras. If you see, if you uh, recall the first camera, he was there. Uh, and now he's at camera two. And here we are with our most uh, common visitor for the month of December has been this five-point buck. Here he is on camera one. This guy is here every single night. He's got to be getting fat on my apples and my corn. Here he's sucking up the corn. He already ate all of the apples. So he's sucking up the corn. And here he is over at uh, camera two. He's real close to the camera here. It gives you a good view of him. You can't see his antlers, but I put this picture in because it really shows you how big a body this, this deer has. There's his antlers. Uh, again, he's a good, healthy deer. Uh, we got him in a video that I didn't put up. He's chasing a bunch of the does. But the does are running away from him. I think uh, the does were waiting for that nine-pointer that uh, Rodney harvested or the big eight-pointer that you're going to see. The, the last year I got in this video is the eight-pointer. Uh, this guy in the two videos ago was the, the guy that was poking the eight-pointer eight in, the, in the rear and was locking horns with him. This beer, deer looks good. But compared to that eight-pointer, <laughs> this guy is small. Again, this is a good-sized deer, but he, next to the eight-pointer, he's, uh, uh, he's, he's kind of a youngster. But he's a good, healthy deer, hangs around. This is kind of early in the evening. You can see all of the lights around. We got our Christmas lights up in the tree. Lights on in the living room. The lights are on in my upstairs bedroom. Um, a little bit later on, you see the pumpkins out there. None of the deer touched the pumpkins. I was really surprised. But why should they eat pumpkins when they got apples and corn? But a little bit later on, one of them are going to have a little pumpkin pie. Here he is, the same five-pointer. He's uh, underneath camera one again. Again, this is uh, these videos were taken from December 1st through the 9th, and I just sort of spliced them together and just giving you the good views of the full size of the deer and the antlers. They keep going back and forth between the two cameras. Again, this guy's real healthy. This this night, uh, it was raining a little bit. You can see a ton of apples that I had just put out. A couple nights ago, uh, we put out a bunch of apples underneath both cameras. Donna and I went down to Peppercorns for dinner. We came back... Uh, about 9.30, quarter of 10 or so, and I looked underneath, every apple, every bit of corn was gone. So about 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, I reloaded, put more apples under each camera, about 20 apples under each camera, and I put out some more corn, got up Saturday morning, and uh, that was all gone as well. But that was uh, when the herd of does showed up. They showed up that night that I loaded up twice, and, and they just about ate everything. We had five does in the yard then. Here's uh, here's our buddy, the eight-pointer. This is the third deer we've had uh, for the month of December. Again, big, big, healthy deer. He's not as big as that nine-pointer was, but this is uh, his rack is beautiful. It's absolutely uh, even on both sides. The tines are long. I, I think this is a fairly young deer. I don't think this deer is much more than three or four years old. Um, 
Again, he's healthy. What surprises me, we're late in the rut, and now there he is raising his leg. And here he goes, pumpkin pie time. This is the first, uh, the first deer we had go after one of the pumpkins. And uh, he does a pretty good job at it. This, when he gets done, there's not much left of that pumpkin. He pretty much eats it all. Lifts it up, throws it around, chomps on it. Now you say, this is, I think, not for sure, but I think this is a fairly young deer, maybe three or three years old or so. Um, what surprises me, he did not lose a lot of his weight. If you were really laid into the rut and his neck is still pretty well swollen. Uh, so this deer is still very healthy. Here he is again on camera one. You can see big heavy neck. I think this video was either the, the 5th or the 6th of, uh, of December that this video that we're looking at right now was taken. The last shot of him uh, on this video is actually the 9th. Here it is. Yeah, this is the 9th. From here on out, it's the same night. This is the last night that he came. Um, good, good healthy deer. As you can see the lights are all out at the house so this is late at night or very very early in the morning i don't want to say exactly what time it is because a lot of my hunting buddies are listening to this and watching this and i don't want to give them too much of a hint of when the guys are around but this has been a real hoot taping these deer and putting them on sharing them with everybody i hope you like them look at the deer eating that thing i mean it's pumpkin pie time He's just going to eat, uh, continue eating on that pumpkin for a while. Take a few bites, shake it around, knock it around. And he's going to go over and have a little bit more corn for dessert. And, and he's going to just walk off into the sunset. Well, not really the sunset yet, but uh, pretty close. Well, he's leaving you, and I guess I'm going to leave you too. Uh, come on up to Rod and Gun Club and see us sometime. Hope you're enjoying the videos and uh, help me protect some wildlife. See you a little later, folks. Good night.